on a particular day if you learn less but practice more that's good you will think with the fresh mind fresh mind is very very important right if any question with little changes appears then you might not be able to solve so you have to learn the concept from the solution hello everyone welcome to this video on how long you should code in a day by coding ninjas myself vishesh and i will be taking you through this video so in this video we will be talking about different points like how we can divide our whole day for different activities and for each activity especially code how much time we should give how much time we should give to each problem and how can we practice each problem by giving some time to learning part and by giving some time to practicing part right so we will be looking at these three points in this video so stay till the end to actually understand to actually get the concept and guys uh, one more thing if you are new to this channel make sure you subscribe to our coding ninjas channel and hit the bell icon to get the latest updates so that you get the notification as soon as we post a new video that will help you out so without any delay let's go ahead and let's start with the first point so first point is how you will divide your time in a day for different activities so see guys uh, it's not about about only code so in a day you don't have to only code you have to go college you have to do some assignments you have to code you have to practice dsa so how you will actually divide your time in a day so i will be talking differently for uh, like weekend and weekdays right so what i suggest you uh, on weekdays uh, so suppose from morning to evening you are busy with the college now what you can do after the college you can study for uh, four to five hours for dsa or coding part right you can study for four to five hours in the night i should say from 9 pm to 1 am right so i am talking about the night okay so you have to use the night very efficiently and what you can do so in that part you will be learning dsc and coding actually right so i am not giving you the time for assignments but you have time you have in between breaks in college right so i am just taking only 9 pm to 1 am for coding and dsa part on the weekdays right now for the weekend days what you can do you have the whole day so right uh, you you can spend uh, from uh, 9 am to 12 pm for the college assessments college assignments and after that you have uh, like uh, 2 pm to uh, the 12 am 12 midnight right you have the half day for coding part so you can use that half day uh, for the coding actually to learn dsa and to practice dsa right so now how you will divide the time for practicing dsa and for learning dsa so guys see if you are giving some three to four hours then divide 50 percent of the time for the learning part and then the rest 50 percent for the practicing part see if you are only learning now that's not useful you have to practice you have to practice the same day you can learn a little less see after all you have to learn everything but in a on a particular day if you learn less but practice more that's good but if you learn more and practice less that's not good you have to practice a lot right so you can give around 50 percent or you can say 40 percent for learning part and then 50 to 60 percent for practicing part right so it depends how much time you are selecting for the dsc and the core part i have told you like for weekdays you can uh, start from 9 pm to 1 am and for the weekend days you can you have the time from 2 pm uh, to the 12 am midnight right so yeah you will be not a uh, coding learning dsa all the time you won't be doing that so uh, this is about how you can divide your time for learning as well as i should say coding now let us see how you will actually perform the problem how you will actually solve the problem how you will divide the time uh, for the problem solving right so before moving on to that part let me tell you one thing so if you want to do data structures and algorithms course then there are amazing courses available on coding ninjas website so these courses are available in c plus plus java python and guys these are the top rated courses so uh, you can explore these courses by clicking on the link given in the description below and one more thing course studio is a 
coding ninjas amazing platform basically free platform right so you can learn a lot from this platform this platform has interview experiences interview problems this platform has a very very unique feature that are the guided paths that takes you from a zero to hero very very cool paths right so you can definitely follow that guided path for data structures for computer science core subjects and for interview preparation guide as well right now uh, let's come to our main point so how we should practice a problem a particular problem right so pick a problem so you pick the problem right now uh, spend 10 to 15 minutes on a problem so try to think try to get the idea what the problem says what we have to do think a little bit so if you get some idea like how we can proceed in first 10 to 15 minutes then it's good spend more time spend more time till 40 to 45 minutes hopefully you will get the uh, complete idea so if you didn't get anything in the first 15 to 20 minutes then it's little bit disappointing right so do one thing don't spend more time just leave that problem for a while now uh, what you can do with this problem so after one hour or two hour you can again pick this problem you will think with the fresh mind fresh mind is very very important right so you didn't get any idea before so uh, now if you will think after doing some problem other problem if you now try to solve that previous problem which you, you were not able to solve initially uh, you will be thinking with the fresh mind so there are chances that you might solve this time right so there are good good chances so try to think the, again at the problem with the fresh mind and i hope you will be able to get some idea at least now if if the problem is such that uh, you are not able to do it again at the next time so what you have to do just stop for now for that problem and do one thing after one or two hours do one thing again pick that problem this time we will not solve that problem what we will do we will only look at the solution so this time we ha just have to look at the solution so how you will look at the solution that's actually very important right so guys i am telling you like how to pick up problem right so pick up problem and then uh, try to do it for 10 to 15 minutes so that's very important i'm telling you how long you should spend on a problem right so how much time you should spend on a problem so that's very very important after that you have to see the solution now how you will see the solution so for looking at the solution it's not like that you have to solve only one problem and you are learning the solution right you will be solving many problems you can't learn solution of every problem so you don't have to cram the solution you have to understand the concept see you have to generalize that solution you will be understanding like why you are not able to think of the approach so many other people have solved that question they they are able to think of the approach why you are not able to think of the approach so the reason might be you have not studied the concept you have not studied the topic that the particular question uses right so the, uh, these might be the reasons so you have to actually analyze if you are done with the topic that uh, that is actually used in in that particular question then you have to see what is the unique thing what is the new thing that you are not able to think initially so you have to keep in mind that if such a thing is given then we we can use such type of things in this way you have to generalize and that is very very important guys otherwise you won't be able to grasp the concept you may get the solution you may solve that question if exactly same question appears if any question with little changes appears then you might not be able to solve so you have to learn the concept from the solution not just the solution right so yeah this is about the uh, like how you will practice a problem right so cool now we discuss about the three points so first one is uh, how we should divide our time uh, in a day i told you for the weekdays and the weekend days uh, we discussed how we should uh, divide the time between learning and practicing part and the third point that we discuss is how much time we should uh, give to a problem so that's a very very important part now coming to some guidance for you like uh, uh, how long we should call so one thing guys actually depends on person to person i can give you some idea because i have actually used this concept like how i divided the time and how i actually practice it and learned dsc so it depends on person to person it depends what's the schedule of the person but this is the idea 
right this is the idea you have to spend around four to five hours in a day that's well sufficient guys that's well sufficient so if you spend four to five hours in a day uh, for learning and practicing dsa combined right so that will make you actually a good in data structures and algorithms and hopefully yeah you should have some iq you should have some logic yeah that's the necessary thing uh, only only doing the questions will not make you master in dsa you should have some logic you should have some understanding cool understanding of uh, concepts dsa concepts so i think yeah uh, this is about this video and i hope you get some idea like how long you should code in a day right so that's about this video thank you for watching the video till then and guys if you're new to this channel subscribe to our channel and if you like this video then make sure you hit the like button down below and share it with your friends so that they can also get some kind of help so yeah thank you so much for joining me and bye bye take care